coffee. Americans drink a staggering 400 million cups of it a day. But just how sustainable are the beans in your cup? For us, the little green frog tells you that you're indeed helping to make the world a better place. Tonsi Wheeling is the executive director of the Rainforest Alliance, a nonprofit dedicated to protecting forests and promoting sustainable farming. Now when you're at the coffee shop and you see the Rainforest certification, what exactly does that mean? And when you see the little Rainforest Alliance frog, what that means is that there's been an auditor that's gone out into the field, into the country where the coffee's coming from, and looked at whether that farm complies with 200 different criteria, environmental, social, and economic, that ensure that that farm is sustainable. To get the frog of approval, farms must practice fair trade and take care of the land. That goes for any crop grown on Rainforest Alliance certified land. A little green frog is what's called an indicator species. It means that if there's something wrong with frogs, there's something wrong in the habitat. It's symbolism Whelan can't ignore, as she's seen what happens when companies wipe out the land. When you see deforestation firsthand, you see this gorgeous, complex ecosystem with birds and, and bugs and ants and spiders and butterflies and everything. All of a sudden, just completely cut down and disappeared. You see a parched landscape. Whelan says that's where the power of the consumer comes in. Companies worry about whether or not there's consumer demand. What I tell those companies is, you know, it's not that consumers demanded a ruffled potato chip. You help them think that they wanted a ruffled potato chip. So you as a company can help to figure out how to engage people and encourage them to think that they really do want to have sustainable products. Now how do you help some big companies to go green? We work with them with a lot of charisma and excitement and we get them to say, look, we've got to figure out how to buy something sustainably, whatever it is that they're producing, and uh, help them look through their supply chains to figure it out. Is it getting easier? It is getting easier. It's changed in the last couple of years. It's like a sea change. This is about redesigning the future for us and for our kids and their grandkids. So companies that get that and engage in it in a real way are going to be the companies that are going to excel and succeed in the future.